I'm going to show you the motion of the planets against the background stars. And I should be able to do it for Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. We might also look at Venus and Mercury as well. I can leave a track on this in this software. If I advance the day by one, you can see that there's a little light colored track there. It's a little difficult to see. But this is all the farther it moves against the background stars in a 24-hour period. If you were watching it just with the naked eye, you probably wouldn't detect that in a single night, especially since it's only half a day or so. If you were watching it through a telescope carefully against the background stars and watched it all night, you might detect some of that motion. Where you'd see it is if you look at it one night and then a week later, if we let it time jump for a week, you can see that it makes a fairly significant jump against the background stars. And so for that, you might be able to do it. I'm going to let time run continually. The aim will stay locked on Mars. We'll see it move through the constellations from west on the right to east on the left. See it zipping along here. Okay, now it's all the way over in, oh, let's see, just went by Pisces, and we're approaching Taurus here. Okay, now it's starting to do something unusual. It's reverse direction. That's an interesting thing. Now it's reverse direction again and is heading back there in the original direction. See? Venus is racing by Mars or trying to catch up and didn't manage to do so. Mars is against the Sun there. reversing direction again and again. So there you can see what the motion of Mars is over that a few year period. Those reversals of direction happen about every two years and two months. Let's check out Jupiter. So I'll do a search for Jupiter here. And see how it behaves. When we start this it's almost right next to Venus, but let's see how its path progresses. Jupiter doesn't move very fast against the background stars, but we caught it here right as it's reversing direction. Okay. Now that wasn't quite as spectacular as Mars reversal of direction. Here it goes again. It also doesn't get very far against the background stars before it reverses direction. Just a couple of constellations it moved over and then it reverses direction again. Now it's moving against the background stars of Virgo. In fact it was in Virgo at its last direction reversal and it's still in Virgo. Virgo is actually a pretty long or si large sideways constellation. Okay, Now it's in Libra reversing direction again. So you can see quite a few direction reversals for Jupiter. Turns out for Jupiter they happen in a period of a little longer than a year. Let's check out Saturn. See what it looks like. We're centered on Saturn. Right now it's among the stars of Taurus, right there in that V of Taurus. And let's let time run, see what happens. It's right in some a reversal there. There's a reversal. Okay, not very big loops on Saturn, and it doesn't get very far at all before it reverses direction again. 
but you can still see this reversal of direction. This was a mysterious thing for a long time to ancient peoples. They worked very hard to try to explain this, and that's something we'll be looking at. Its usual direction is going from right to left. That means from west to east against the background stars. And for the reversals, it turns around and heads west for a while. When it's in that reversal direction, I've got it frozen here now, that's called retrograde motion. It's moving in the opposite of the usual direction. So we could check out Mercury and Venus as well. Uh, we'll try Mercury first. See what it does. It's never going to get very far from the sun, and so we'll always have that bright thing in the way when we're looking at this, but let's go ahead and let the time advance and see what we see for Mercury. Now Mercury moves much farther against the background stars, reverses much more frequently, and you can see a bit of loopiness to its path that we didn't see for Jupiter and Saturn. Looks a little bit more like Mars. So this is kind of crazy stuff to try to understand. What is going on with these things? Okay, let's try it out with Venus. See what it looks like. Just let the time run here. Long stretches between when it's reversed. Okay, anyway, Venus is interesting the way it's quite the odd thing there. That is a demonstration of the way that planets behave against the background stars. Trying to explain that was quite a challenge. We'll be looking at the ancient model of it, the Greek model that was finalized by Claudius Ptolemy, and then we'll move forward in time. Retrograde motion is your vocabulary word for this one. It's the reversal of the usual direction. So for the planets, it's when they go from their usual path of west to east and for a time reverse direction and go from east to west before they get back into their usual direction again. 